All right, and welcome back to another video. I was out of town for a couple of days, so I wasn't actually able to get anything new. Um, lots of chat talk. Uh, definitely appreciate you guys on the information. Um, apparently, I had it at 100%, and through a glitch in VR, uh, Steam VR rather, it takes you to like well beyond the threshold of the 2160 uh, by 2160p that the old headsets got popping. As soon as I took it down, immediately, no stutters. And that's what I'm about to show you guys right now, along with my settings that I got from um, Accuracy Gaming's mic. Um, I'll leave the, the link below. Uh, great streamer, great streamer, and um, um, he has a killer setup. Rocking on 3090, it's all crazy, all crazy. Definitely check him out. Outside of that, um, I'll see you guys on track. We are going to be rocking the Bentley, and we're just going to you know, take a couple of laps, maybe even do a race. We'll see. Uh, catch you on track. And we're on track. Didn't actually qualify at all, but um, some adjustments were absolutely made. Um, when I plugged in the HP Refurb 2, it actually defaulted to the 90 hertz manual um, settings in Steam VR, which actually binocularized everything and made it like a 110 or something like that I didn't even notice because that's what it was on my old headset um, the Samsung this is 114 so as soon as I change that boom wide lens opened up the world opened and here I am um, the changes I made another glitch in the system over at uh, Steam VR for this headset is that when you put it on 100% it's actually like 200% 300% um, found this out in the comments. Uh, thank you guys for chiming in on that. And we actually were able to take this down right, right above the 2160p by 2160p. And we are not stuttering at all. It looks fantastic. Um, we're at Nurburgring. We're in the Bentley. And uh, to be honest here, um, this ought to be pretty good. You know, I, I do enjoy this track. Um, done it a couple of times this past week on iRacing and now we're gonna rock it out here on a set of course competition so uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go but this is a beginners lobby this is an open lobby and it looks like we're here for about 15 minutes which is just enough time for me to show you guys what's going on with the 1080 Ti in its proper form when everything is set up the way it's supposed to be and afterwards I'll actually show you um, or if it'll pull up, I'll, I'll read you my, my settings for this. So, uh, you know, smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. I seem to be one of the only people that have this headset right now um, due to uh, things not arriving on the other side of the world until late December, which is just a tragedy. Um, but, you know, we'll do what we can for the people, man, until we can till everyone gets here uh, especially with like a 3080 or something like that I'm just impressed that you know a 1080 flat can max this thing out um, but you know a 1080 Ti does better 20 series oh my god and then a 30 series you better get out of my face that's what I'm talking about so um, let's see what happens and I'm not talking loud because uh, my daughter is asleep in the next room this is the time I get to do this stuff and uh, if you got kids, you get it. So, you understand. Oh. And, yeah, seven, and we've moved our... Uh, Uh, slight stuttering, but I mean, this is set of course competition, so ACC, rather. Really, dude? Are you serious? Like, there was no re yeah, Okay, well, he's dead. Anyway, we're just gonna show what's going on and how good everything looks.
guys actually got a little bit of skill to them. Now this feels great. <coughs> Moved it back to the 720 uh, steering. Uh oh. And moved it back to 720, and this feels pretty damn good. But look how good this is. I've got it on 110% um, resolution in game. And like I was explaining, right above 2160 in Steam VR. And this is this is extremely acceptable. This guy's fast. <coughs> oh. some laps oh see that was smooth right there like now I'm starting to see some of the glory of the old, uh, of the ACC yeah, it's a little bit more loose for me oh that is quick So, this is not bad at all. We got everything set up properly. Oh man, right on the edge. So we're on track here, um, we're at Imola, let's go ahead and throw on this setup here, and uh, get the pro, pro setup, for the Chevy, for that box Chevy. Alright, so people were asking me exactly how to set this up, I'm not the most technical person in the world, but I'm going to help you out any way I can, so that you can get this going with like at least a 1080, 1080 Ti. I assume uh, the 1080 would also be able to do a lot of this. So these are my settings. Um, since I'm on a 34 inch monitor, of course the 3440 by 1440 and um, we're over here set to max quality on this portion. Now, sky and clouds, that's going to take up a lot of energy and a lot of uh, resources. So, we actually keep that on medium. Cars high because we want them to look clean. Pit objects low because I don't really care what's going on in the pits. Um, once you got a lot of power or while you're on screen, I'd move this to high because, or mid, because 
it, it looks really cool seeing all the cars and flags and little tents and stuff. The event, of course, itself, high details, that's the, the infield, things like that. Grandstands low because on high, it just takes a lot of resources and we're not, we're not there yet. Objects low, particles high, that way things flying on my screen, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, sparks, etc. I need it all. Um, I'm doing 20 cars on track, as we discussed in the Nurburgring versus the, um, well, I guess it was a Nurburgring, I don't, I don't remember, but... 20 car seems to be a really good sweet spot and it works now this center area here uh, <clears throat> the filtering 16 AA samples 2 and then we're just gonna go everything on let's get it until we get to night shadow maps because that stuff right there is just ridiculous Shader Leader, quality we're gonna go high I'm not about 64 gigabytes of RAM but I, it's not gonna ever use anything near that and especially it's using by you know GPU TI's got 11 gigs of RAM and the memory itself like I say you can see it down there there's a there's a lot um, so I like to have all my mirrors on because I'm sitting in the car and I want to see my hands and my arms so this is what we have over here a sharpening of course um, you want them to swip, uh, swap the high cars that are around you so it looks good around you. And then, of course, the uh, the high-quality car textures once you're there. Headlights, low detail in the mirrors, and just low detail in general. And um, I always do four on my max mirrors. That way, if there's a screen, you get the, the top, the sides, and the screen all together. Um, other than that, this is what we're looking at. There's some DX11... Actually, I don't think I changed the DX11 files at all, to be honest. So, um, if you have any additional questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments. And let's see how this works out on track. Uh, not to mention that, uh, as I mentioned in the, in the first portion of this video, um, or maybe it was in the last video on ACC, uh, <coughs> I did go into my... Um, settings in Steam VR and go ahead and change that from auto because mine defaulted excuse me mine defaulted to manual at 90 or excuse me the little 90 Hertz block and it kind of binocularized it but it did it at 110 and that's what it was on the Samsung so for me I didn't even really notice and then I looked it up online and it says this hits it is 114 degrees don't let them fool you it's 114 you take these straps right here you pull it close to your face and you will you will then start to see these peripherals open up for you along with the um, put that thing on auto it's gonna open up the square to the 114 degrees which it's noticeably different and as you can see the resolution is fantastic so um, let's drop a couple of laps and this is just a uh, practice session right now the race itself is at 11 p.m. but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna practice tonight and we'll drop the race tomorrow. This right here, though, is for the for all of this beauty that we're seeing right now. We wanna, we all want to be here. So I'll do what I can. And it's it's similar. Clear. One of my very favorite, my, one of my most favorite tracks. Okay, Brandon, it's a faster class car approaching. <laughs> That feels good. So, after driving the Bentley GT3, this feels foreign, but it's going to take me about five or six laps. Cars do have traction control, but they do not have um, ABS. So the braking is definitely all on your on your back.
gigahertz on my 8700k so it's not like I'm like moving at a low speed but look at this this is insanely good this looks great this looks great so you guys have seen the settings for this and hopefully it all works out for you but if you have any questions or if something's not working right um, within my, my my capacity of understanding I'll help you out so comment holler at me we'll catch you guys uh on the next race and it might be here it might be at emma cheers <laughs>